I, I too am very pleased to support this bill. Uh, the work that I've done most of my life involved working with people who, because they were economically impoverished, because they were, uh, they experienced a systemic discrimination that has now been laid very clear and bare for all uh, people in this country to see, uh, end up disproportionately on the street as and homeless, uh, with health issues, criminalized and imprisoned. And so as we're having this discussion, we know that more than one in 10, and certainly as high as one in seven people in this country is living below the poverty line, and they're more likely to be in, uh, you know, rendered homeless as well, because 90% of the neighborhoods in this country, uh, people working full time, work, uh, making minimum wage cannot afford to even rent a one bedroom apartment. So we know uh, just steps from Parliament Hill, there are homeless shelters where personal support workers during this pandemic are living because they cannot afford uh, to rent an apartment here in Ottawa. And they, uh, they're they're making minimum wage, but they don't have benefits. They can't work in two and three jobs like they were in uh, long-term care facilities before the pandemic. This is of vital importance and it needs to be a guaranteed livable income that we should be modeling. We know that PEI, where uh, Minister Easter, uh, or Minister, former Minister, sorry, <laughs> Wayne, uh, MP uh, Wayne Easter is from, Premier King has signaled very clearly to the Prime Minister and to the government that he wants to implement uh, guaranteed livable income or basic income in PEI. And much the way Medicare was introduced in Canada, we could start in one province and roll it out. And this bill allows that to happen without any further delay. So I think it's vitally important we move and move quickly and that we do look at different models, but models that don't leave people behind so that we can look at the impact of this, the importance of having uh, child care, social support, supports adequate health care and really um, allow all people in this country to contribute to be taken care of. We are a wealthy country. There's no excuse for us not moving forward on this right away. Thank you very much. And I look forward to any questions. Oh, and the Senate Finance Committee also recommended this, by the way.